Hey guys, it's Natalie, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a 360 photo booth overlay using Canva. So I'm going to switch over to my iPad. Let's get straight into it. And this is a disclaimer. I am not artistic, but I do know how to get an overlay done when it needs to be done. So the first thing you want to do is size your overlay template. And so you're going to go to custom size. I personally like to use template too because it helps get the full body and I just like how it looks. So that size is 1072 by 1440 pixels. Create new design. And the first thing I do to get inspiration is I ask my customer what their theme is, what text they would like on their overlay. So the first thing I do is say it's a birthday and it's going to be pink or whatever. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the elements and I'm going to do a border. It is an easy formula to create templates. Put a border around it, add some text, and then I put some things around the edges. It's simple as that. So you're going to go to your shapes. Okay. I'm going to take this square. Okay. And I'm going to fit it all the way through on the edges of this photo of this template to fit all the way to the edge, right? Period. Okay. So once I do that, I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to edit this. I'm going to turn the inside. It's going to be transparent. So you're going to push the, the red line with the dots. That means transparent. And then I'm going to take the border. Then I'm going to pick a color. And then you can choose different colors um, for your border. That's the inside. Sorry. The inside. Then I'm going to go to the three lines right here. Push the border weight. And then I'm going to pick how thick I want my border. You can go as big as you want. That's good. Or sometimes if I do this, I make it thinner. And I, I'll do that. And then you're going to push the uh, next, the circle next to that. And then you're going to put the color of your border. Pink, red, purple, whatever. So we're going to do a pink birthday theme because my birthday is coming up. So we're just going to do a birthday theme for myself. And then I'm going to go to elements. And then I'm going to say whatever I'm looking for, like pink balloons. Okay. I'm going to see all the graphics and there's all these different pink balloons that you can choose from. I, do y'all see anything that's cute? Let me know which one y'all would pick. Let me look for my birthday though. It's my birthday. I like, Let's try this one. Okay, I might put that in the corner right there. Mm, no, I don't like that. Let's do this one. Delete that one. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. And then you could just type in anything for inspiration, like pink birthday. And then it'll just show you a whole bunch of different things. So kind of like this bow for my birthday. So I'm going to put that up there. I like that. And then maybe a present box. So I just play with it, see how everything looks. I might not do the balloons. And then, you know, you can do some sparkles, make it smaller. So, so what I'm going to do now is since I have a few things on here, I'm going to match my border. I'm going to match my border to the colors. So I'm going to click on my border again. And then you see where the red dot is? That's showing the color of the border. And then I'm going to choose the color that I want my border to be. So I can do it light pink. I can do it dark pink. And this is just going to pull up all the colors that are in the photo. So every little thing, when you put an item, an element into your, on your template, right? It's going to be able to pull up all the colors that are on the template at that time. And then you can match your border to different things. So I, we got to think about that one. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. So you just click on it and you push the little plus and you can just copy it. And then what I could do is I can put these sparkles all over my template. I actually like the way this is turning out for real. I didn't even know I was like it, y'all, for real. Hold on. Did I delete that? Copy it. 
and then just put it all over. I really love this. And then what I can do is for your text, you can add whatever text you want. So you can, all you're going to do is on the side, you're going to push text and then you can choose a pre-made layout down here. And then I'll just push this one and just put, edit that, tap it and say happy. Tap it again. First day. Okay. And then I'm going to make it smaller. It's looking good. <clears throat> it's looking pretty good, guys. But the only problem is I don't like the inside color. I don't like the red. So I'm going to tap on it, happy, and then I'm going to change the at the top, I'm going to hit the A at the top, and this is going to change the color. I might do light pink. I like that. And then I'm going to tap birthday, and I'm going to do it again. So you could just play around with the colors and things like that. And then, so happy birthday. And then one thing that I always do is because sometimes the font and the text, it can not show up good when it's on the video. Once you turn it a transparent background and it's on the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here, I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to look for a black, I'll just type in black blur and then I'm going to pick either this one, there's several that you could do, see y'all. So sometimes I use this one, depending, and then what I'm going to do is push this black, make it bigger and then I'm going to push all the way down here and then what that does is it makes a, a darker background for the text and effects so that the happy birthday or whatever text you put will show up good once it's on the video. And then what you're going to do is position it. Tap the blur, position, and then you're going to put it all the way in the back so it doesn't go over any of the effects. It's just behind it to make the background, to make the uh, photo and the letters uh, pop more. Okay, so you have that. You can just add as many effects as you want to. Um, this left side looks a little blank, so I'm gonna look for an element. And then I'm gonna say, like again, like I said, pink birthday. And then I'm gonna see what else there is. Because I like to have two things on each side just to level everything out. I like this cupcake. Let's see how this looks. Make it smaller. That's so cute. How cute is that, y'all? You can tilt it a little bit. And then I'm going to tilt this one the other way. And then make sure this is in the middle. So there we go, y'all. It's really cute. It's really simple. You can use this formula for any type of theme of template that you have. Just do a border, do a few little decorations on the side, and then add your text and you're good to go. Now what you're going to do is push this up arrow right up in the top left, right, top right corner. And then you're going to save it. And then when you save it, make sure the file type is a PNG. And then you're going to push transparent background. Check that box. If not, it's not going to be transparent and it's not going to be an overlay. And then you will download your overlay. It's simple as that, guys. And make sure you guys, if you have any more questions or videos that you think that I should make to help you guys, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure you all subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. And bye.